look, look. Oh, and look at Stanley Cat. He wants to make an appearance today. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. How are you, huh? Look at that sunshine on your fur. Look, spring is breaking through. It is a beautiful day here in the Laurel Highlands, and I'm going to head into the shop, and I'm going to work outside today. Who's ready to join me? Ooh, stretches. All right, guys, I made it to the shop. The only thing is, it has started to rain outside. I think the sun might come out today, not tomorrow. It's gonna come out tomorrow. I'm thinking it's coming out today, I feel it. Do you feel like you can see it out there? Oh yeah, I see it now. I can see it, right? This is good, this is good. I was about to come on and say, I'm gonna go paint in the rain, but if we are transitioning from rain to sunshine, that works even better. I have got a dresser outside. It's been sitting outside for months and months and months, and I'm pretty sure anybody coming into my store is like, why do you have this like unpainted um, half drawer missing thing in the front of your porch? But you know what? I had vision for it. I just had to take the time to get to it. So today is the day, and I'm going to put my tired, worn little girl dresser into a beautiful, colorful dress. We're gonna make her boho shabby, and she's gonna take on a whole new life of her own because I believe that yes, you can paint furniture to put it outside. And yes, those pieces that you find by the side of the road that are like broken, they're still standing, but they're broken or they're missing drawers or there's something just not right with them um, that you can go ahead and you can still repurpose them for outside porch decor. All right, so, oh look! You see, the sun is coming out. So this dresser, let's talk about this dresser, missing the front drawers. All work, especially now since she's been out in the uh, winter, but that's okay because I am envisioning this piece painted, filled like drawers filled with soil, flowers, flowers across the top, maybe some um, just kind of like draping sort of style flowers or vines coming out the front right there. But my job today is before I run out and grab all the flowers, I gotta get the house ready, right? I gotta get the piece of furniture ready. All right, so we've got the dresser makeshift flower planter in place. And the color I'm gonna use today is our color called Mermaid Tail. Just remember that if you ever need to thin out your paint, all you have to do is add a little bit of room temperature water add it to your paint and then mix it up. I like to let you guys know that in case you want to have control over the consistency of your Junk Monkey paint. You can do that. So I'm gonna stir mine up a little bit. It's been sitting for a little bit in this can. Oh yeah, oh this is so pretty. This is just gonna be a quick job because remember, the flowers are gonna be the focal point. My job is just to put some color on that brownie, brownie piece. One last look as it gets ready to be made. Shabby gorgeous. drying out there. I was thinking about adding a little bit of character to it. These are some big stencils that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I love to go to the clearance section at Hobby Lobby and you get even these big stencils that are typically like upwards of about $20 a piece getting them for five bucks. And so I will always have a need for the Moroccan and the Moroccan look and the chevrons. Love this right here too. I might put a little bit of this design onto it. And I'm gonna do it with our vintage white. Our paint is amazing for stenciling because I'm Stencil Sonia. I'm thinking like maybe doing it on the sides. I think that would be really cool. And I catch you from the road. All right, let's do a little bit of our edging, the ever-loved edging effect, the eyeliner effect as we call it around the junk monkey. I'm gonna do it a little bit more exaggerated and shabby on this piece. It's gonna just pop and be va 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 boom All right, let's just go ahead and put a quick seal onto it to help protect her from Mother Nature. I'm gonna, of course, use our banana peel. Know that it does dry clear, and it's gonna give me just a flat, matte, super poly, protected finish on here. And you can put as many coats on as you want or not even put any coats on at all. It's totally up to you. I can totally picture her with some soil and flowers in these drawers. Maybe some draping flowers, some flower pots across the top. We'll make it come to life even more so tomorrow. Whew, all right, we are done. At least done to the point that I wanna be done. Could I have been like slower? Could I have 
really made sure all my brush strokes were just perfect. Yes, but you know what? Today, I just wanted to literally fling some paint on there and you literally just saw that happen. I wanted to get a pop of color on that brownie brownie piece. She still had great bones. And tomorrow, I'm gonna take you with me as we go out and shop for some posies and flowers. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Have you thought about repurposing an old dresser for a flower planter? I'll join you in the comments below and I'll see you guys here again tomorrow. Take care, bye.